We see with our hearts and love with our eyes in a 2020 prison lusting over a prize. Fighter in disguise, What's going for on, the world to survive. That is back in this mad den. Here to talk about mad den. And yes, it is Saturday. It is Legend Saturday. Welcome. Thank you very much for joining my channel today. And if you're new to this channel, first of all, thank you for coming and watching this video. Secondly, can you do me a favor? Please hit that like right over there. Hit that subscribe button right over next to it. Please come join this madness. I'm on the road to a thousand subs. I think it is attainable with your help. Thank you all very much for your continued support. I really appreciate. Welcome to the madness. Yes, indeed. And like I said, happy Saturday, guys. I hope your weekend's going well. Uh, mine's going pretty good. And uh, I was kind of racking my brain about what you guys wanted to see for some content today. I know we get legends that came out today. A Corey Dillon, a Rob Ninkovich, and a Jason Seahorn. A Jason Seahorn looks pretty nice, just very pricey right now. But, um, you know, that's, you know, this is a theme, time, theme diamond upgrade, so no one really spectacular that we have to go after this weekend. So I thought, yeah, I don't really want to open some packs. If you guys want to watch some pack openings, always hit up my boys, Actual CC, Xerxy, you know, ScoMo. I know my boy Slay will probably be dropping one. Those guys all have some great pack openings today. I just want to save my coins for Team of the Year. I know it's coming just around the corner, as they did say yesterday. It's coming early next week, whether that be Monday, as it did last year, or Tuesday, or maybe as late as Wednesday. I want to be ready with some coins and make sure I get all the players that I want on my squad. So, if you guys did not check out my Team of the Year video, I do have a prediction video, a couple of videos down below. Hit that up, see who I think is going to make the team. And if you did not see my Team of the Year prep video on how to prepare for the Team of the Year, I did drop that yesterday. It should be the video right below this one. Go hit those up. Hit those likes on those as well. I really appreciate it. And, you know, this gives you all the lowdown on what I think you should do to make sure you're, you're getting the Team of the Year players that you want and how to be in the best position possible for when those players do come out. So, with that being said, I was like, you know, what am I going to do today? I'm going to talk a little bit about wide receivers and the top wide receivers in the game to fit your scheme. Now, most people are going to be like, this is a no-brainer. This is going to be a no-brainer conversation. We got Randy Moss, we got T.O., we got Jerry Rice, we got Julio, we got Marvin Harrison. We know who we need. We want some speedster. You know, we can go get Devin Hester, Tyree Kill, you know, but... Um, there's some hidden stats that I think that you guys need to really think about based upon your scheme. Now, me personally, I don't throw to my wide receivers a whole lot, a whole heck of a lot. If you haven't watched any of my streams, you know, by the way, my stream link is down below for Twitch. I will be streaming Weekend League later on tonight. I usually do stream Thursday, Fridays, and Saturday nights for a Weekend League sometimes throughout the week as well. So go ahead, why don't you go ahead and hit that follow as well on that Twitch and hit that notification bell. And you can come talk to me about some stuff on my Twitch team. I'd really appreciate that. Come really be part of the madness. But anyway, as I was saying, wide receivers don't really fit my scheme. I run my team through my tight end, my running backs, my fullbacks. Sometimes I'll hit my wide receivers over at the top if I'm feeling froggy. But I really do more of a West Coast style, short pass game. You know, a lot of runs, a lot of power running. I don't really do the deep, even though I have my go deep chemistries for the throwing power on a lot of my players. I don't really go, you know, and, and, and rely on the deep game all that much. With that being said, let's go ahead and start this by looking at some of the wide receivers I have on my team. Um, obviously, you know, I do have a ton of them. I shouldn't say a ton, but a lot of them. And we're going to start off the bat. You know, you guys all know about Randy Moss. You know, I'm not going to go into a whole lot about Randy Moss. You know, I don't have him in my lineup right now. In the lineup, he's got 98 speed. He's got the Excel. He's got 99 spectacular catch. He's got the deep route running. He's got, you know, he's got great, he's got great stats, you know. But does he fit the hidden stats I'm talking about? Does he fit my scheme together? So I'm going to start off with one of them who's a great alternative to Randy Moss. And you know, a lot of people out there, I mean, I'd probably say 90 to 95% used their mutt captain on Ryan Shazier. Me, I was not, I had Shazier all year last year. I did not want to have Shazier again this year. He's a great card, but if he's in your lineup right now, I bet you he's your third or fourth linebacker, maybe your second, depending on your team. But these upgrades are never going to allow him to be the starting linebacker, I believe, that you're going to want, the user you want on your team. Maybe at the end of the year when he gets to the 99, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. So I used the Herman Moore, and I'm going to show you why. Let me compare him over here to Randy Moss. First of all, they're both the same size. You're going to notice right off the bat, you're going to say, I hear you already out there. He's slow. 
He's slow as hell. He's got 94 speed based upon and the, and the Randy Moss speed, but he still has got that 99 spectacular catch. He's still got the 96 deep route running. The short mid, mid, uh, mid route is better than Randy Moss as well. Not to mention that he um, has the, the catch in traffic better than Randy Moss as well. But I'm going to show you a couple stats you probably don't look at that often. And especially in the, the way the game is running right now. Look at this run block on Herman Moore. 55 run blocking versus 40 for Randy Moss. They're not spectacular, but a plus 15 on the run block. You need your wide receivers to block as much as possible, hold those blocks. Herman Moore does block better than Randy Moss. And he doesn't cost anything. Um, also, another step, you know, because, you know, eventually people start, especially with the new run commit, I don't know how good it works in the game right now. People will commit to the run now. So what does that mean? Also, he's got, you know, he's... What am I going to say here? Oh, I'm sorry. He's got, you know, people commit to the run now, as I was saying. If you can see here, he beats the press 96 versus 91 for Randy Moss. So, when people start committing to the run and they start pressing up, you throw it over the top, Herman Moore is going to catch it almost every time. So this is just one of those hidden stats that I'm talking about. Herman Moore, a great option at wide receiver for those. And he's free if you don't want to spend a lot of money or save some coins. And if you're like me, who do not use your wide receiver all that often, he fits the bill in my book. Now another one, this guy got trashed when he came out last week. He's a terrible card. He is catching stats are terrible. His route running stats are terrible. He's got 97 speed on my team because of my Redskins cam. He does have 97 deep route running. He is a deep threat. But again, let me tell you about these hidden stats that our boy here has. 57 run blocking. He's again, plus 17 run blocking over a littler or bigger Randy Moss. And again, oh my, he hit the wrong button there. He's going to be able, when people start run committing and start pressing on you, he's got 96 beat the press. Randall L, and not to mention this guy's um, ball carrier move. Guys. Well, this guy, I mean, we already know about him in kick returning. He's got 92 spin, 96 juke moves, you know, 95 elusiveness. When he gets that ball in his hand, he's a baller. I know he's a little bit pricier right now because he's a limited to dime, but he will be getting a series redux next series, and he's also going to use a 95 power up pass. Antoine Randall Lell, not a bad option for those, again, like me, that like to run the ball, and when it's time to hit them deep, you can hit them with somebody who's going to beat that press. So this is just wide receivers you don't think about. I think everyone probably has these two on their team. Not going to go over them a lot. Scary Terry, I have my team obviously can use the Redskins. Uh, Redskins, I have from my Redskins team team. But 97 speed and 98 spectacular catch. A budget baller out there. Again, you're not going to have to spend a lot of coins. You can't power them up. So it's just buying the guy and plugging them in. Plugging them in a slot maybe. But Scary Terry is a great option to have at wide receivers. Deshaun Jackson, a lot like Randall L, minus the running block. So I'm just going to, you know, those are the ones I wanted to go over that I had on my team that you might not be thinking about. Now let's jump over to the auction block. We can talk a little bit more about the ones that are, you know, the best receivers in the game. Now, again, I'm not going to, if you're watching this video after Team of the Year comes out this week, it's not going to, um, I don't have Michael Thomas or DeAndre Hopkins or uh, Mike Evans or Chris Godwin. I think one, Probably three of those four are going to get a Team of the Year card. So um, they're probably going to come out with stats that might be better than a lot of them that I'm talking about. So if you're watching this afterwards and I'm not including them, it's because I did record this afterwards. But um, let's start with our 96 guy, and that's going to be T.O. Now this guy is, again, a baller. And he's got all the stats we're ta talking about. You put him in your lineup, he's going to have, what, 94 speed plus 296 speed with Coach Madden. So um, if you have a theme team, 97 to 98 speed, depending on how many you have, this is going to be a spectacular player on your team. At 6'3", he meets all the criteria. You're going to look at the route running. He's not as good deep route running as Brandy Moss. He didn't have all this stuff. But I'll show you what he does have. Again, these hidden stats that I've been talking about. Run block, 59. Probably one of the best run blocking wide receivers in the game. Does he beat the press? When people start pressing up on you, run committing, 95 beat the press. So T.O. is again probably a better option than Randy Moss at this point, just for those factors alone. And can he, can he, what does he do when he has the ball in his hand? What does he do when he has the ball in his hand? Does he have any type of moves? Um, spin and juke, not really there. Not really elusive. Probably about the same as Randy Moss. But again, 
The run blocking, the beat, the press makes him a very, very matchup nightmare when it comes to running the ball and throwing it over the top. Now let's jump into anybody below a 94, 95. I'm not to offend any of your favorite players, but they're probably just not going to make this list just because of they're, they're, they're probably outdated right now. Michael Irvin. Again, he's got a lot of the great stats we're talking about. But does he meet the hidden criteria that I'm, that I'm talking about? Can he run block? Yes, he can. 53. Again, Michael Irvin, a great run block. Can he beat that press? 91. He's about the same as Randy Moss. He's going to get pressed up. He's going to get held back a little bit. Again, he could not fit my scheme, would not make it on my team on the field because of those stats alone. Let's jump down here to Devontae Adams. This guy is a little, is a little bit of a conundrum, a little bit slow as you guys can look at. You know, and his, um, I keep hitting the wrong stick. One of these days I'll get it right. My whole life will be right. I just passed right by it. Run blocking, yeah, it's better than Randy Moss's. Not spectacular. 50 is a nice threshold for wide receivers, I think. But this guy can really beat that press. 97 beat the press. If you get chemistries on this guy, he's going to be 99 beat the press. So if you're someone that just likes to, to you know, have somebody in the lineup to be up for those situations I'm talking about, they start pressing up, Devontae Adams is a great player for that type of scheme. He mints the run block, and again, someone you wouldn't think of. He does not fall on that list of wide receivers that you think he should have. Oh, I didn't try to buy him, but somebody did. Then we have Steve Largent, not going to go over, not really usable in my game. Marvin Harrison, who everyone was raving about during the Zero Pro, everyone, Zero Pro, Zero Chill promo. And we look at, again, these hidden stats I'm talking about. He can't run block at 34. He can't, you know, does he have the ball in his hand? What does he do? He can't spin or juke. Can he beat the press? 87 beat the press. He's going to get held up at the line. Again, not a player that I can use on my team. Let's go down to Fitz, Larry Fitzgerald. Does he meet these thresholds that I'm talking about when it comes to run blocking? Uh, run blocking. 57, he meets the run block. And his, does he beat the press? 90, he'll get snagged up at the line again. Help good in a run block situation, but not somebody I'd want to toss it up to. See, again, he would not be both the thresholds I would need to fit my scheme. He would not be on my team. Now, the GOAT, Jerry Rice. I think he's going to be one that probably can fit everyone's scheme. He's got all the catching stats. Deep not route runner, not very good. But can he run block? His run blocking is 53. Decent run blocker beats that 50 threshold I'm talking about. But does he beat the press? 90. He'll get snagged up, and he's not fast. The GOAT is not the GOAT for my scheme. Again, if you're someone that throws it a lot, route technician guy, you know, uh, you know, these slot apprentice, you know, these route apprentice people, you might not be agreeing with what I'm saying right now. But, yeah, you know, it's a very run-heavy game. It's a very run-heavy league right now. You know, the, every, the, the top teams in the NFL with the best records are also the best rushing teams, you know. And so it's just, it's a running game right now. You know, we got, you know, that's why everyone's fantasy was so crazy this year because there was not a lot of explosive passing yards or passing, you know, or receiving, you know, besides Michael Thomas and Drew Brees. Let's look at Julio real fast before I get out of here, guys. I think he's the last one I'm going to look at. Um, he's got the speed. He's got the size. I keep running, pushing the wrong button. Can he run block? 50, he's right at the threshold. Can he beat the press? Can he beat the press? 94. Julio would meet my, can beat my scheme. His next card, I don't know. I think I said Herman Moore's already there. Meets this type of position for me. Along with Randall L as well. So, but, but Julio, again, one of those guys that can do the things that I'm talking about. Devin Hester, more of a human joystick. Great ball in the hand compared to the Randall L. Deshaun Jackson, same thing, guys. So, when you guys are thinking about building these teams, get these wide receivers, let's look at our boy here, Brandon Cooks. Our little speedster. Can he beat the press? Does he beat the press? We know he can't run block. 48. Man, better than I thought. Way better than Randy Moss. Can he beat the press? 86. Again, it's not someone I can make it on my squad. So when you think about what receiver you're going to have or having a top wide receiver in the game, there's a lot of things you got to think about. You know, I've explained a lot of it in this video. I went over a lot. I really appreciate your support, guys. Uh, let me know if you like these type of videos. I can go in-depth for wide receivers. I mean, I already did that. Quarterbacks, running backs, linebackers, those hidden stats that might make better and fit your scheme. 
Please drop a like. Please drop a follow on this video. I appreciate it. Mad Dad is out. Have a great day. Good joy. Good, good, good luck and weekend.